Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. First of all I'd like to say thank you ever so much for all your lovely comments from my last reaction video when I started. Well we had the experiment didn't we to see if I could do the boxy thing. Well I'm back with the boxy thing. I've got the boxy thing on the screen and I've got my laptop sitting on a boxy. So <laughs> we're double boxy today. Um, thank you ever so much for the lovely comments. It was it was thrilling to see the likes and the comments and I've got new subscribers and I'm all excited. I don't know if I can take this, this much excitement, you know, I'm not used to all this, you know. But um, yeah, I'm back again with another react. Um, I trailed through this latest video live stream. It was a bit laborious, but you know, I got there in the end. You've got to try and try again. If I'm telling her, I've got to do it myself, haven't I? So um, I've got another video to react to. Uh, I hope you've got yourself a cup of tea or a drinky poos or whatever you feel like it. And um, let's get on with it. <laughs> so here we are in the kitchen with the pussies. Adjusting her hair, you know, all crap today, BBJ. Exercises, oh my god, hair. yeah, that's three arm stretches. I took Fabulous. really good care of my teeth today, you'll be happy to know. Well, I, I, I'm glad that she's uh, proud <laughs> of brushing her teeth, um, admiring her handiwork. I can see, but I mean, I shouldn't be sarky, should I really? I mean, she's brushed her teeth, I mean, you know, and she's flossed. And she's used a mouthwash, so I shouldn't moan. I shouldn't start the video with a moan. Um, I shouldn't be taking the piss. She's brushed her teeth. I mean, that's one positive thing we can say so far. How the rest of the video will go, I'm not too sure. But, you know, she's brushed her teeth. Great. Dandy. Suck it. And Misha. Hi, Misha. Oh, she's got a cheeky face uh, on again today. Did I have a chance to think about my bad attitude? Yeah. And, uh, I still stand by my decision. It never ceases to amaze me that, um, I mean, the other day she was on about how she finds it very hard to follow through with things and she finds it very hard to hold fast with things. But when it comes to her bad attitude, she always seems to be able to stand by everything then. Do you know what I mean? When it comes to her bad attitude or the fact that she's been rude and she's made decisions that are perhaps no, not quite what they should be, she always seems to be able to stand by them. Yeah, I, I think I would just like, like I said, like, my body is just always worn down, so... Uh, only because I have to wait for them to call me. I have to pick up. I don't know why I always wait till I'm out. Anyway, I don't know how long I've been sucking on my puffer and it's been at zero. Like, my I go back to what I said last time. This is rudimentary adulting. Keeping abreast of your medications. If you're that pooly, if you're as pooly as she is, with all her ailments and all her problems, at least keep up to date with your medications. I mean, she could go and get a cheapy calendar and put it up on the wall to keep abreast of, you know, right, I must ring up and get a repeat prescription by such and such date. This woman is her own worst enemy and you can't keep stopping and starting medications. Medications are, you know, it's called, isn't it, a course of medication. It's supposed to to run constant at a steady rate at the um amount that the dog doctor prescribes you know i just and it's not hard to do is it leave a little post-it note on your fridge you know or by the telephone or like i say put a calendar on the bloody wall my simba court when i crank it it has like goes from 120 all the way down to zero and so when I inhale it, I don't feel like anything. Inhalers, so I should have just checked. No Pennington disease? Maybe. Maybe. And then she's wondering why she's so... He sounded sick on his wife? Really? I didn't think, find he sounded sick. Really? 
Maybe just prior to here. worn down. Whether it be paints mm -hmm. or whether it be old grimy yeah. You know, all the negativity and drama will do that. Seriously. I did shower. I think Pete's problems are a little bit more than a bit of negativity and a few rude or perhaps nasty comments. The lad's got real issues. As many issues probably as yourself. I don't think it's down to negativity. I, I don't think negativity and a few snotty people on the internet have got that much power. And let's just go back to what she's just said. All the negativity and drama will do that, seriously. I did shower. Okay. Have you ever heard of anything? Do you, Name me one YouTuber. Now, I've been watching YouTube since 2010. You name me one YouTuber other than her that you have ever heard has been asked by one or more of her audience or his audience whether or not he's had a wash washed his hair, got clean clothes on, brushed the teeth. It's like she's been questioned by her mother. Do you know what I mean? Have you have you wiped your nose? Have you blown your nose? Have you wiped your backside properly? Have you had a you know a good wash? Have you scrubbed yourself? It's just it's ridiculous. And I mean, how embarrassing that your audience ask you those questions because you know you've admitted openly in public, on the internet, to the world, that you're a dirty Mary. No shame. No embarrassment. She's got the balls to have a little bit of irritation that she's been questioned. Because she don't like being questioned as this one. But no, no sense of embarrassment. It just, she boggles my mind. She really does. Oh, no, I didn't. I wet wiped. She wet wiped. Or as my nanny Rose would call it, a cat lick. Yep, exactly. I was just hey, thinking the same. BBJ has that appointment, everybody. Mark it down on the calendars. I will do. I'll mark BBJ, it down. Friggin' old friggin' weirdo. Yeah, so she's gonna get a checkup and her nails trimmed and I'm gonna see if uh she's alright and everything else. Like a normal person does who's a, a pet owner you're looking after your pets what would you like a round of applause you don't get a round of applause for doing things that you should do anyway i don't get a round of applause for doing the things that i should be doing anyway and you're certainly not going to get one too right you've made an appointment for that pussycat to go to the vets she should be going to the vets when they're elderly like that they need to be going at least a couple of times a year because they can go down the hill so fast, you see, because cats are able, more than dogs, I think, to hide the symptoms, you know? I mean, I didn't know about Mr Tinkle's uh, kidney failure until literally right at the end because, they're like the vet said to me, they're very clever, they're very good at hiding their symptoms and it's very quick uh, and, I, and I've spoken to other people, you know, who've got dogs and cats and that. And they've said the same. The dog gave more of a um, heads up than the cat did. And when they realised something was on the cat, it was a very, very quick decline. So you need to keep on top. You need to um, preempt, not wait for something to appear. You've got to preempt with cats a little bit more than I think you do with dogs. You know, I used to think of myself as a foodie, but I just like to eat it. I don't like to make mm -hmm. it. <laughs> we knew true. that. I don't like to cook, really. I, I, if I Is she on a delay? Is she in an echo tunnel or something? We all knew that, darling. We've been telling you that for months. I, I'm sure. I'm sure she's on a delay. I think she watches videos and reads comments and looks at the chat, and she finds out after the fact what we've always known about herself. Like I say, it's like she's on the delay switch or something. Really think about it. I don't love cooking, but I like eating. The thing with online, you can be whoever you want to be, I guess, huh? But why would you want to be anything other than yourself? Well, if you're not a very nice person, I suppose you'd want to be somebody else. If you know that you've got certain personality traits 
that can uh, put people off. I think you would want to live in a facade. You would want to put your best foot forward. I mean, I don't think anybody really truly shows themselves all of the time. There might be moments when you're talking to a very good friend or your significant other, when you let that other person, you open a window to your soul and you and you really give them a true uh, look inside you as a person. But I think to a certain extent, we all have a little bit of an act, a little bit of a, a facade, you know, that sort of stiff upper lip, you know, I'm crying inside, but I'm going to, you know, carry on, soldier on. I think we all do. It's just when you're a nasty piece of work and you don't own up to the fact, I think that sort of facade, that gets people irritated. There were some thirsty women in Natter's members only chat. They're all thirsty women, no. Why do these people say that to her? Does she still not get the fact that these people are trying to wind her up? And what are you bothered for? What would it matter if he had a whole queue of women knocking on his door, desperate to get in at him? What does it matter? You know what he is. And why is it always the women that are thirsty? I think he's pretty thirsty. I think he absolutely adores the fact that uh, these uh, gals contact him. I think it's a boost to his ego because, as I said before, the man's driven, driven by his ego. And he really has got a bob on himself, as my mum would say. But why is it always the women that are, are thirsty? You know, this girl really dislikes other women. And I don't understand it because I love women, I do. I think women are the best things since sliced bread. I really do. Closely followed by gay men. Just friendly women, I guess. Oh, and your face says it all and those eyeballs <laughs> rolling round your head. Friends. Smart. He's a very friendly person. Mm, yes, he like, is. Like, I don't He's think I was friendly. used to that. Like, BB was like that too. It used to make me so jealous. Like, they would, like... They're friendly. Like, I remember... She's got a cat hair sticking out the corner of her mouth. And it's at these moments that I wish I could just put my hand through the screen and pull it out. How do you not feel that on your face? I'm terrible. I'm, I am. I know exactly, you know, to the, to the millimetre if anything goes near my mouth. I remember one time when I was first got with BB, and I'm not used to how friendly they are. Like, people from other cultures are really friendly. It can come off as flirting. Um, so when oh, BB went first, hi, Georgia. She hasn't when moved it like, but she's spelled it. Hi, so. Orange Chicken. By the way, do we have, we have to, do I have enough money for Olaplex and, uh, uh, maybe a mascara? BB is bigger, I know it. Actually, he's not the bigger of the three. Size so. doesn't matter. <laughs> Size doesn't matter when you've got a fanny like a bucket. But there you go, darling. <laughs> They're actually pretty similar, actually, in size. All oh, well, I'm glad I've got that PMI, information. I'll be able to sleep all tonight. Class, but won't, okay, I'm going to work on Knowing hormones all and, of their and nutrition for growing my hair. Size. But the hair I have to make it stronger, will Olaplex not be a good shampoo for that? Like in volumize and stuff or no? No shampoo is going to truly volumize your hair. Shampoo washes your hair. It's not going to be able to increase the width or add hair to your head. I think there are cuts. I think there are um, styles which can maximum um, maximize maximize put my teeth in, your hair. I think if they put in, you know, layers and cut it a certain way. And I think, I'm sure I heard tell from my hairdresser once that, um, is it that razor? You know, when they razor cut it, that can, and feather it, that can make it seem like there's more hair. But Bab, there's no topical uh, product that you can buy that's going to sort your hair problem out. That is a medical thing that needs to be looked at uh, a bit more in depth. And I think, I don't think there's any creams or lotions or potions or even perhaps tablets that is going to bring back your hair. I think it's gone forever. 
So the best thing to do is, like I said on the other video, I think she needs to look for some sort of hair system. You know, look for something, some sort of hair replacement, um, wigs or something like that, that, you know, can solve this problem for her. Because as I said before, I think it would really give her a boost and really um, pepper up. Do you know what I mean? Because hair loss with us women it's um it's it, it, it we're very sensitive aren't we about our hair i mean it's not called the crowning glory for no reason you know so i think she's deluding herself that shampoo is going to help her it's i think you need to go in a bit deeper than that bab i'm not buying a wig i'm not buying a wig why why are you not buying a wig you can get some fantastic Anyways, ones. Anyways, I need I've something. Like a new shampoo. I don't have a good shampoo. Or do you think it doesn't matter? What's Olaplex then? What is the shampoo that I use, and I think my hair is quite good and strong and nice. I get quite a few compliments about my hair. And I use Aldi's own shampoo. And I think it's about 85 pence. Not even a pound. You know, I don't... I don't know if I always believe the advertisements when they say, oh, it'll do this for you, it'll do that, and it'll do the other. Do you know what I mean? I think a lot of it's genetics. I think a lot of it's how you... It's more the styling end. Not so much the washing. I think it's the styling end, you know, whether or not you use heated tools and all that business, whether you treat your hair right and use decent conditioning things and waxes and, and all that. I think that is... It's more the styling that I think does the damage to your hair. I don't think shampoos are that important, to be honest. Well, I... Purse, that's me, you know. There's probably um, a hairdressing expert that's watching this video saying, well, actually... You know, there's this, that, and the other, but you know. What does it do? What's the point of Olaplex if it doesn't make hair stronger then? But that Olaplex stuff, I think Guy Tang uses that. And I think it stops damage, doesn't it? It's like a barrier, it um helps to repair damage. I mean it you can't you can't repair hair because hair is dead. You know, as soon as it comes out of your follicle, it, it hair's dead, isn't it? But I think it can smooth it down and protect it a bit more. I think that's all it does. I don't think it does miracles. Julie Hannah, a bunch of desperate women stroking his ego and no one was allowed to speak of you. <laughs> Julie Hannah. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Welcome to Very Important Beef. Look how she perks up when his name's mentioned. It's probably a good idea, actually, that we don't talk about each other anymore on our channels. Honestly. Right? The eyes start twitching yeah. whenever she So Hello she talks Fresh would be him. ideal for me. Is this a joke? Somebody tell her. I, I spoke over that bit. I wanna go back if you don't mind. Right? Listen you know. to this. So and Hello watch the Fresh face. would be ideal for me. Is this a joke? Somebody tell her. She knows. That knowing smirk on her face. I tell you what, this girl's not daft. She's She plays the game. Not very well, like, but she knows the game. It's because she is desperate. You don't message somebody you don't know who, like, is with somebody or try to, like, stir up shit unless you have no life, so... Well, I suppose that's one example, isn't it? Another example of desperation is when you give somebody 50 plus messages in a desperate attempt to get them to talk to you. That could be deemed as desperate. And that's something that you did yourself. So, uh, you know, pot calling the kettle black. Need I say any more? Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I haven't watched her either. <laughs> Look at that look. If that's not the face of a bleeding serial killer, can you not just see that in a movie? Peeping at you from between the bars, you know, like Hannibal Bloody Lecter. Look at it. Gives me the willies. And look at all the bloody cat edges. I, I just want to roll a lint 
lint roller. She's just covered it. I think there's more hair on her than there is on that pussy. Fucking bones. I'm just kidding. Ooh. You see me, you know, we get a discount on the way we're pissing the festival. What do I look like? Um... Go on, I dare you. I think it's just the hair and glasses. But Roy Orbison used to wear a wig. I don't know why, but he, you know. Getting brave, isn't she? Old Chantal. Taking a side swipe at DC Media Girl and Yabba. Thing is, Chantal, and I'm, I'm going to give you a friendly warning before you start side swiping um, other creators and the reactors. Don't poke the tiger unless you've got as long a claw or even longer claws than her. Boxers box within their weight category. DC Media's out of your league. She's a lot more intelligent than you. She's got a lot more life experience. And she knows how to play the game. She'll dish up a choice meal for you that you're not going to swallow. So, like I said, don't poke the tiger. Unless your claws are as long as hers. I mean, I'm a tiger. But even I'd have second thoughts about taking on that pussy. Watch it, Chantal, with that mouth of yours. You're going to get yourself into trouble. I thought you didn't want any more drama. I, didn't, I thought you didn't want any more upset. Stay in your own lane. He's Okay, my story. He's very friendly. She is. So let me just finish the story quick, then I'll poop, and then we'll go. Because I'm waiting for it to brew. Fucking hell. So anyways, okay. I, uh... When I first got to with BB, he was living with, like, a bunch of other, like, African... Hot university African dudes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Leave out that part. Anyway, so... We were eating at the table you could not offer something, what doing I don't remember what, you. probably something I ordered. <laughs> There's this like woman, I think she was from like Rwanda, but she was really cute. And yeah, come on. You, you can see a brain she, making it up yeah, she as was, she's like, going tall, along. Thin, had like a shaved head almost, like really short hair. And Do you know, I'm sure, you know those set reactors? that um, watch videos and watch the body language and the facial expressions. There's a few on here. They're like psychology professors and all the rest of it. Some of them are people that have worked for the FBI and other intelligence agencies, police officers, that sort of thing. And I'm sure when people look up to like the corner, it's it's when they're their brains are turning over and they're trying to work out the best story, the best scenario. They're, they're making up lies, basically. And that's what she does. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm getting all psychological, but do you notice that when the old eyeballs are going? Really gappy teeth, like a big gap in her teeth, but she was really pretty. But so. she'd have to have something wrong with her, wouldn't she? Like, I remember See, that's another thing. When I, I notice when she does stories with other women, there's every woman... She's tall, slim, and she's pretty. She's attractive. But, oh, she's got gaps in the teeth. She always has to poke holes. There's got to be at least one hole poked in every woman. She's so jealous of her own sex. She hates her own sex so much. And as a woman, I just, I can't understand it. Because I love women, as I said earlier. I protect other women. I fight for other women. Don't get me wrong. I don't take... You know, I'm no fool. I don't suffer fools. But I'm in support of other women. I don't understand this poking holes, this this um, vengeful um, way of thinking she has when it comes to other women. She's a very jealous person. And she's very jealous of other women. I think she feels very intimidated by women, by other women, um, 
she feels inferior. Low self-esteem, I suppose, that all comes from and lack of confidence, you know. Or like her coming over and being like, oh, what is that? And him being like the way he talked to her was like, he was like, it's food. He's like, it's delicious. Please come have some. I insist. How is that odd? I mean, my mother, she was a traditional sort of English woman. As soon as you put one foot over that doorstep, come in, what would you like to drink? Oh, well, I'm all right, Mum. I'm, I'm like, well, she, no, 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 no. What do you want to drink? You've got to sit and have a cup. You see, you couldn't pop into my mum's house. Couldn't pop in, do something quick or give us something and then leave. No, 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 you had to leave at least minimum of 15 minutes because as soon as your foot was over that doorstep, you were in that house, you were her captive and she was going to feed you and give you some sort of drink. So it was best just to sort of just give in. Even if you weren't hungry, even if you weren't thirsty, just have something to eat and something to drink because it just, you know, it made her happy. She she was, well, she weren't a feeder like in a weird sort of way. She weren't one of them chaps that, you know, searches out for ladies to shove chocolate and junk food into. But she... It was how she'd been brought up. Guests, other people, you make them something to eat, you make them something to drink. And, you know, I, I noticed with other cultures, they're the same. Uh, I know definitely with the Asian culture um, and the, the black community, they're another community where, you know, you have people come around the house. The first thing you do... What would you like to drink? Would you like a glass of water? I've got tea, I've got coffee, I've got orange juice. You know, you reel off the list. You know, my mum had a thing about always having a cake or some nice biscuits or something in the fridge that you could make a sandwich for somebody on the fly, you know? Why is that weird? I don't get it. It, it comes from that, I suppose, that selfishness within her, you know? She finds it odd that somebody would be kind and, and generous weird like what why are you being flirty how is like, that like they're just flirting? really like really really it's really manners. really really nice does she not understand you know? what it's manners like, are being nice to people fuck what was her mom doing <laughs> so, I mean, so uh um, crazy yeah i find other cultures are like that you know what i mean anyway sickness, so what happened was mind excuse oh, me jesus no, you're not excused. I am you're dirty, Mary. Secure. I'm such a jealous person. I need to stop that. You do need to. I'd rather to just stop be it. single sometimes. Because it's twisted and it's embittering. BB needed to ignore her, but like he's not rude, you know. All right, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm three thirty-five. See? Oh, oh, flipping egg. What do you think? Oh, imagine that. A little bit of a waste. Yeah. See? Who would show you their tummy like that? Even if I had a stomach like Janet Jackson, there is no way. We're gonna do some winter activities. All over. Oh, sorry, we're getting ahead of ourselves. You wouldn't, would you? Not at thirty-seven. Have some decorum. Keep it to yourself. Like I say, even if I had a stomach like Janet Jackson, I would never expose. Now, if that's not purposefully done. To cause a stir, to to create a little bit of a fuss. I don't know what is. She's one of the biggest trolls. She's getting like Trisha Paytas, you know. Let's go back a bit because we missed. Oh look, she's all dressed up in a winter coat. We're gonna do some winter activities. Oh lovely, tobogganing, skiing, snowboarding. Who on that makes me love? She said, and they lied to me at this Burger King Did because. They bleed? Bleeders. I was checking Uber Eats last oh. night. No, go on. And tell they us. have dill pickle nuggets on the menu. What a liar! So I don't lie. Isn't that terrible? People telling lies. And I mean, with you being such a truthful person, that must have really hurt. That must have really hit you in the heart. About it, lady. She probably didn't, knew and didn't know about dill pickle nuggets because it's not really a thing. Well, it's a thing I mean, to you, sweetheart. Yeah, I know it's too good to be else. true. They have dill pickle flavored nuggets. Lovely, great, fabulous. As long as I'm trying not to smoke anything. Where am I breathing? I need my. Uh, I'm out of my puffer, like I told you. So I don't know how long I've been sucking on it with no. It was at zero red when I happened to look today, so I'm like. So as soon as you discovered it, 
Did you make it a priority? Hmm? Did you? Fuck, I really need my puffer. Like, I yes, need this you do. You do. It's the steroid inhaler. You do need your puffer bag. And then I have the salbutamol for emergency, so I'm taking that, but I need the for my asthma. So you might hear me breathe very heavy today until I get my puffer. They're, feel, they're working on it now. <laughs> well, I hope that they get it done soon for you. Because you, you you are right. You do need those things. You need them desperately. And like I said, you need, you need to start scheduling your um, repeat prescriptions. Ask at the dispensary because you know that sometimes these pharmacies, they have like a texting um, system. So what they'll do is they sort of buzz you and say, did you know that you're due such and such? See if they've got something like that. They probably have, you know. She's just too lazy to sign up for it. So I'm hoping I can get that before I... She can't be running out of medications. <laughs> Very back important. Home or Wherever we go, who knows? I want to go for a nice walk. It's freaking freezing. And it's so hard to breathe when you have asthma in the cold, cold like that. And when you're fat, on top of that, like being a fat asthmatic is the worst. And who smokes weed? Not smart. It's not but I like you said I it. love to. I know oh. you do. I love to ram chocolate in my face like it's, you know, going into prohibition, but I can't. It's called self control, sweetheart. You know, something's bad for you. You stop it. And you say, Do you know what? I've had enough. Or I can't do that because it's not good for me. Kids do that, don't they? Oh, but I want to. Oh, yeah. It's like watching a great big adult toddler, isn't it? Sometimes oh, it really is. I need coffee. You need to yeah, like, I just know my body. Like, whenever I start getting really tired or just, like, run down for whatever reason, it doesn't even, like, guys, I have trouble dealing with life. Down. Like, the littlest thing will stress me out or make me You're so tired. tired. Like, the littlest thing. You don't get stressed out. You get anxious and you get worked up and you get irritated and you get snappy and angry because you are a naturally very lazy person and you don't want to be bothered and you don't want to do anything. Life bothers you. Do you know what I mean? It's like just living, existing is like a major effort. Anxiety, my ass. I have another therapy appointment Good. on. Make sure you keep it and go. It's like 10 in the morning, but that's all they had. I think it's Friday. Friday at 10. I think, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think. This girl really needs so to So we'll have that and then we'll do the Beezer Awards by night. Write all your appointments down. You can't even do one channel. Half your channel? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, she's, now, look, she's delving again. But this time she's gone south. Now she's delving down. I don't know if it's down her trousers or what it's got to be, isn't it? She's only got short legs. Has she got sandwiches and, you know, Chelsea buns down there as well? That'll come soon. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a subscription box. These I think I'm going to put some cool things in it. I just wouldn't do Everybody it. is... Stop scratching down there. Yes, yeah, stop scratching down there. Hey, it's oh, not nice. Know, it's, uh, you lose My your hand. Actually, I showered last night. Well done. That's great. Do you know, like we was before when she was scratching downstairs. Look, I'm look, I'm doing it now. I'm, it's catching. Stop it. All she needed to do then to make it the ultimate disgusting thing to do on the internet. I was waiting for her then just to sniff her fingers. Could you imagine? Like when she had a delve down there. The other video and sniffed her fingers. She, she's, she's very uncouth. She's, you know, men do things like that, don't they? They're always at themselves, like a dog, you know. I, I don't know what they think's happened, you know, whether they think it, they've lost it or, you know, it's fallen down the trouser leg or something. But they're always at downstairs. It's not nice. Not for a lady, anyway. And then I just, like, woke up, wash my face, brush my teeth, use wet wipes. Yes, use your wet on wipes. On my vajayjay and my ass butt. My butt. So you didn't have a shower this morning. Did you have a shower or did you use face wipes? 
I don't know. I don't. That Gen X life. Please go find a test. Oh my god, will you guys be quiet about the COVID? I don't have COVID. How do you know if you haven't took a test? Most simplest things to do. I've got boxes of them in the kitchen because you know the school's very good and they send you loads home. And then uh, the NHS, um, you can order them from the NHS. And I've also, I had some posted, some people were going around posting them through the people's letter boxes. It was obviously some sort of effort, you know, to try and get people to test more. But it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And don't tell me that a country like Canada, it's a forward, it's, it's a forward looking country. It's not a third world country. You can get tests. You, you've got to be able to get lateral flow tests. And it is, it's peace of mind and they're so easy. And they take minutes to do and you get your results within 30 minutes. How do you know you've not got COVID? It affects everybody different. And there's all different levels of it now. Get a test, you lazy Mary. Here's the thing. I'm not getting a test right now. No. I'm not going home. No. Be mad. Just like a kid. Just That's just... Talk about teenage behaviour. Do you know, people are right what they say about her. She is. She's stuck. Um, say around 13, 14, you know, when the hormones are really kicking in and they get really nasty. Because they do, you know, teenagers, they get really... Jay can be a bit nasty with me sometimes. But that's where she's stuck. It's like her brain is regressed, but the rest of her's gone forward into adulthood. Titty baby. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, she's at her cleavage again. She's Why do been people always ask the way. Single... I didn't want to... I didn't want to react to her going around the shops. I mean, I don't like shopping myself. I, you know, if, if I need a cardigan, I'll go out and buy a cardigan. I'm not so much for mooching. Friends of mine, they like to have a, a mooch and a delve and a, and a look around. That's not really my cup of tea, to be honest with you. I've really got to be in the mood to, like, just wander around the shops. If I need a new pair of jeans, I'll just go straight in the shop, get the jeans and come out again. So to watch her going round, no. I'm not reacting to that. A person that's new to my life. If I smell like cheese. Like. People ask people. People probably ask that question because you're cheese mad. I mean, didn't you do that cheese graveyard when she ate all that cheese? And cheese is very closely linked to mould. Perhaps you look mouldy. You know, definitely look grubby. It's this. People ask now. I wouldn't be laughing if people... If, if I had to admit that, I would And guaranteed if something happened and I was with the Dubai guy, you would ask him that too. Stop asking me these things. <laughs> she just doesn't care, does she? She thinks it's hilarious that people think she smells of cheap, mouldy cheese. Does Chantel smell like cheese? <laughs> I, I'm glad I'm putting these out in the car because BBJ used to try to eat these. She's a freaking crazy cat or... Anyway, Very she's going to the vet and I'm going to vlog it. Okay? <laughs> Do you know, you know what she reminds me? I, I don't want to be horrible. But over here, you can look it up on uh, YouTube. We had, when I was a kid, a children's programme. And all the English people that are watching this. And probably the Scots, the Welsh, and perhaps the Irish, they'll know it if it was on their TVs. It was a children's program called The Flumps. And there were these little creatures. And the little one, the little baby one, his name was Poodle. And he has a little hat like that. And that's what she reminds me of, Poodle. The Flumps. Look it up on YouTube and have a, and let me know in the comments section below if you if you found it and what you think. Oh my God. I don't look too nice here. I need some hair strands. There we go. Oh, that that makes it all the better, lovey. Christmas videos are gone. Uh, I don't want that on my oh, channel. Jesus Christ! I know. Every time I put delete, dirty, delete something, I actually just private it. <clears throat> oh, I 
think she's... Have, have you shook something loose with that, you know, that flipping earth tremor that's just come out of your mouth? I think she was shocked but, by that as well. So if I wanted to, I could be an ass and copyright strike people who just re-upload them. Could I don't, do. I don't care. You could do. Well, that, that's where it ended. You could be an ass, yes. You're very good at being an ass. But like I said earlier... Don't poke the tiger unless your claws are as big or bigger. Because you might just um, come a cropper. I hate it when she says things like that. She may, It's like um, a little shallow threat, you know. Watch out. I'll, you know, I'll do this, I'll do that and do the other. Don't frighten me. Because I'm a big tiger. Not quite as big as DC media girl like, but you know, I'm bigger than you. Anyway, that's the end of it. Um, at this point, she'd got a bit of shopping. She'd bought this cardigan. It weren't too bad, actually. It, um, it was only thin, though. And she'd bought... What else had she bought? Some joggy bottoms. You know, just for mooching around the house. They were all right. And some, some earrings. She hadn't bought anything, you know, amazing or anything like that. Spent quite a bit of money, though. I tell you what, the things that she bought are not cheap. And then off she went, I think, for... Um, a little relax and chill out so that's the end of the video um only a short one and uh, not much action really but let's hope it's all recorded and um i'm thinking tomorrow night i fancy having a bit of fun and i fancy having a cocktail so i might do a makeup video tomorrow and have a bit of a laugh uh, get some uh, color on this mush um Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. I love you all loads. I really, really do. See you later. Bye.